Ashley here. So I have been trying to talk about my experience um, getting sick after medical school. Uh, but I figure I would delay that story just a little bit and talk about the last couple of days because it's really just been on my mind. So we are back on my computer, which is the fifth version of the second time that we tried to go from my computer to my phone today. So it's super fun. I don't even know if that sentence made sense. It made sense in my head. But essentially last week when I kind of started planning that I was gonna do this month, um, I realized my computer's doing some weird things and either it's out of memory or it's crashing or both. It's like 12 years old. So, you know, I understand. Um, so I decided, let me just switch my plans and we're gonna go with uh, go using my phone, except my phone was old as well. So on Friday, I upgraded my phone, which sounded like a good idea. <laughs> And, you know, theoretically, you can get everything transferred from your old phone to your new phone nowadays. So it really shouldn't have been a problem, except, of course, that's not how it went. <laughs> so um, all of the things, the little voice memos that I record on my phone uh, to like um, things that I want to talk about, things I want to make sure that I do, it says they're on there, but I, I literally cannot listen to them. So that's super fun. And then my um, email for work, it says the program is on there to connect to my email, but of course that didn't work and that took five days and like 15 phone calls to get that back set up. So finally I can get into my work email again. And um, then I keep going back and forth. I was trying to use the new phone, but then um, so the, the phone does not have like a little earphone plug jack which, you know, new technology, they're always getting rid of something. Um, I wasn't really thinking about it or expecting it. And for most people, you would say, who really cares, Ashley? Just it, it has a microphone in it, right? <laughs> yeah, I live next to the interstate, which you can probably hear right now, because again, I had to downgrade just to get this recording done. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I was like, let me just get my Beats attached to my new phone, right? Which I could not do at home, had to go to the Verizon store. They do it in five seconds. And I drive back home and get ready to do my videos yesterday. <laughs> and for three hours, I wandered around my house looking for my stupid beats. I just plain could not find them. <laughs> and then today, finally get all of the, the things set up technology-wise to do this on my phone. And of course, my phone will not connect with my beats and this live studio version, because why, like that would just be too easy. So it's been a week. I really, I'm struggling quite a bit <laughs> on every level. Um, and I called my mom yesterday and she was like, I mean, she can't do anything. She doesn't know anything more about technology or social media or anything like that than I do. Uh, so really she just listens. And I think one of the most helpful things is she kind of just put my head back on straight a little bit because I was so frustrated and so tired. And when things aren't ideal, it's easy, it's easy to assume that whatever's coming is worse, that whatever's happening right now, it's just going to get, it's, you're going to go downhill from here. Um, but a lot of times the things, especially things with technology, you kind of get the hang of it, you figure out how to do it better. And it really doesn't, it's not like the whole month is going to be this complicated, right? And so she kind of helped, helped me a little bit there. Um, but then also she reminded me that every time I'm starting something new, there's always hurdles to overcome, right? I was thinking about uh, a much bigger one, I guess, was when I wrote my book and I had finished all the editing and everything and was doing the program on, on this computer and went to, um, it was literally like download the book to a print form. I think that was the, the key that I clicked on. And instead of downloading the book so I could print it out and be done with it, it literally deleted the entire program, the entire book, all the other things I'd been writing. It was quite impressive how bad it was. <laughs> and thankfully, uh, after a couple of hours, I was able to kind of recover all of that and get through it. But it really is, especially when you're starting something new, it's amazing the things that can trip you up and uh, frustrate you. 
but really um, it's in between the lines of what we work for and what we hope for that God really moves. And so I think the last few days have been reminding me that just because things do not go easily and it's not like an open door of blessings and perfection, um, it doesn't mean that you're in the wrong place and it doesn't mean that you shouldn't keep fighting for what you hope to be become true. So hope that encourages you. So let's go back to the story real quick. So I've been talking about graduation. Um, after med school graduation, I just wasn't feeling good. I had a cough, like the worst headache of my life. I was diagnosed with pneumonia, but it started on antibiotics, but just was feeling worse. So I went back to the doctor and like I said yesterday, I told her something's wrong. I slept through an appointment. You gotta help me. And medically speaking, she really probably should have just sent me home. Like that's not a, <laughs> I slept through an appointment means nothing in medicine. That is not like a bad sign in any way, shape or form. Um, but what's really beautiful about this story is that she listened. Um, honestly, my roommates had both moved out by now. My family had all gone back home. It was just me at home. And if I had gone back, gone back home for another night, I don't know that I would have woken up. And so what's really beautiful about the story is she took the time to listen. And she said, look, this is not classic for anything particular. I'm not totally sure exactly what's going on, but I think you need some more testing. You just don't look well to me. And so the last thing I remembered is she bought out a wheelchair and said, have a seat. We're gonna roll you down to the ED for some more tests. And I was just so thankful because I did not have the energy to walk all the way from student health to the ER. And so I was so thankful that's what happened. And that's the last thing I remember. So in the ER, they did some tests or we were waiting for labs to come back. I think I called my mom and told her I was there and what was happening. And she actually called a friend of mine. And so my friend came by and she was like, hey, just wanted to check on you. How are things going? Um, the ER um, physician and stuff has said like, you know, you don't look that bad. I think it's gonna be okay. We'll do these tests and we'll probably send you home tonight. No big deal. Um, so anyway, my friend is like, what can I do? How can I help? And I was like, oh, you know what? I don't, I don't know where my car, I think I parked my car um, in a place where it's it, like, it's timed out. Like I was only supposed to be there for a little bit and uh, you, I need to move my car. And she's like, oh, okay, great. Where's your car? And I was like, I, I I don't know. And she's like, okay, okay, no problem. I'll go find your car. Where are the keys? <laughs> and I didn't know the answer to that either. So anyway, she went off to go try and find my car. And if you'd like to hear what happened after that, what happened in my car and whether or not my, they sent me home from the ER that night, and then tomorrow. And in the meantime, again, if you're having a rough week like I have been, um, or whatever it is that you're you're really hoping for in your own life, don't forget that God is on your side. He will not leave you alone. And however stressful and overwhelming and impossible it seems right now, you can do this. Okay. Hang in there. And I'll see you hopefully tomorrow if we can get technology to keep working. <laughs>